Hey guys, it's Mapo here once again, and I uh, got a bit of a conclusion slash follow-up video for Stormcall Thick Quisitor, and uh, yeah, that's part of it right there. You get a little too much of the um, old flashbanging when you're playing Stormcall at the moment. This is with a certain MTX that I highly recommend you don't use. Uh, bought it, you know, when it came out like a year ago or something, and things seem to have just gotten more intense since then with the amount of car speeds and, I don't know, area and shit. Or maybe it was always kind of cancer. Either way, um, this entire Stormcold playthrough experience, I have been using basically this MTX, which is the new one, the Astral one, and it's also fairly bright. I'm kind of over having to just destroy the entire screen with purple lasers and um, honestly no microtransaction is the easiest way to play this skill but even then it's still pretty screen cluttery so um, that's just a word of warning if you're ever going to get into some storm call action it will be cluttering your entire screen very reliably and um, as such it'll be kind of hard to see mechanics and all that but I guess that's kind of why we built Thick. So the character is basically the thickest character I've ever built, I think, maybe, from memory. Um, it's capped on spell block and almost capped on attack block using glancing blows. It's got something like 80 to 90% fizz damage reduction with like 30,000 armor. Um, and then uses a lot of regen and Aegis Aurora with a decent energy shield pull, which gets replenished thanks to the Aegis Aurora. As well as that, got 87 to both cold and fire resist, and then my lightning resist is kind of my weak point. Um, you can also see that I tried out a little bit of Voltaxic Burst. Uh, it's obviously not amazing in this setup, because with Dorian's prototype, um, you can't deal anything but lightning damage, so 40% of the skill's damage just disappears. But either way, still tried this out, and uh, it actually felt alright. I could honestly see myself mapping with this um, instead of Stormcall at time to time because uh, it has some nice pops going for it and uh, it's just got a different feel and effect to it. But Stormcall is a superior skill in this setup either way so um, it's not really the correct play. Stormcall has better clear and better um, single target. But it was a little bit of fun to try out the Voltaxic Burst. In any case, um, as I was saying, uh, yeah, with Dorian's prototype, this setup, you do have low lightning resist. I'm at minus 130, and you have to overcome that by using a lot of armor, which we do, and also, hopefully, a talisman, which converts some of the lightning damage taken to fire or cold. I actually tried a fair amount of maps and fair amount of bosses and stuff just using a talisman, so I believe, um, not using talisman, sorry, just using armor. So I believe this entire kill and maybe the next kill or two are without the talisman, so it's all off of armor reliability. And that is a viable way of doing it, but unless you've got like literally a hundred thousand armor or some shit, um, you will still be dying to various things that are lightning based. And it's also especially the really big lightning hits that actually um, slaughter you because you can't mitigate those through armor as armor mechanics are just bad for really big hits. So essentially if I'm not using a talisman everything in the game is fine except for a few bosses here or there and also lightning mirage nemesis. Those things one shot you even with as much thickness as I have um, through your armor, so using a talisman is pretty recommended on the whole still, um, but you can definitely experiment without it. Otherwise, I was just basically limit testing my character for thickness on all kinds of bosses and everything. DPS is nothing too insane, it really requires for your Stormcall to have overlaps on lots of things, um, and a lot of the time that just doesn't happen. So here we're testing this, and nope, can't tank that. Uh, maybe with Molten Shell and Vile Molten Shell I could have taken the biggest hits in the game, but the biggest hits in the game were still a little bit not doable for the most part. So something like the memory game damage um, and the explosions, that sort of thing. Um, either way, yeah, the DPS for Stormcall was okay, but it really requires the overlaps, and without you know, the overlaps happening, it's not the best DPS, it's maybe like 5 million, and it can high roll to something like 10 million. Um, so it felt okay, but it's basically just about being a really tanky character and then seeing what you can get away with. It creates a very lazy playstyle, and uh, it's not my cup of tea. Uh, and maybe there's better skills and setups to do with this type of shit, but it's the first time I've tried Aegis Aurora and I wanted to go with Dorian's prototype as well. 
and uh, as you can see it is doable to um, take on most content and face tank a lot of content. I think I've got like 50 Chaos Res for reference um, of these types of hits. Um, but yeah, if you're really worried about the lightning resist thing, you can just not use Dorian's Proto and just be an Inquisitor with, you know, lightning and cold um, ignore penetration, which is completely fine. Um, but the Dorian's Proto thing is going to be a bit more damage in the end and going to be a bit easier to build around because then you don't have to worry about getting lightning resist as well as your cold and fire when trying to overcome that melding of flesh combo. Um, <coughs> If I min-max the character even more, I could also get it up to about 89, maybe even 90 to all resist, which at this stage wouldn't have mattered much. That wasn't going to make me much thicker or you know, change many of the outcomes that are happening um, for damage taken either way. So you can tank Cirrus Beams. Um, the massive Cirrus Beam gives you 10 stacks of Corrupting Blood, and unfortunately that one I cannot tank by itself have to remove the corrupting blood but I did try that out and um, interestingly enough most of the situations I'm trying to tank in are with righteous fire up as well so I've got something like two and a half thousand life regen and like two thousand energy shield regen something like that and uh, righteous fire maybe cuts that in half a bit less than that um, and it's still a huge amount of regen so it's fairly reliable to be able to tank almost everything out there and uh, yeah it's just um, kind of overpowered to be able to build this type of thick and you know you go with the proper best skills out there and you got yourself gauntlet viable characters and all of that uh so with that said um i'll just leave you with the feared i basically play like shit and try and tank a bunch of stuff and then play like shit afterwards um a series storm calls one of the things we can't really tank i discovered that during this and uh, yeah, I mean, it's still doable, but certainly not the way I'd rather do it. The um, spectral throw was much more enjoyable for me, to be honest, for mapping and um, play style. Either way, there it is. Hope you guys enjoy the feared, and um, yeah, you know, just showing you how it's done skillfully. Wait, what is this? Okay, can't tank shapeables and a fucking synthete damage at the same time. That's too much. That's unfortunate. Kinda thought I could. That I'm okay tanking, because you know, yellow. Oh god, she's healing? Fucking vitality boon some cunts, dude. I think I want to get Elder a bit lower before I go in. That'll do, I guess, right? I don't think I have to move from the Elder Slam either. Lil! Oh, dude, did you seriously fucking heal him at 1%, you skank? <laughs> That's so lame! Heal is cheat. Oh, 
I was gonna tank a flame blast, but then I realized it's the go. I was like, eh, maybe I shouldn't. I forgot to change my Pantheon. And yeah, I guess I can still die to that. But yeah, that sucks. I forgot to change my Pantheon, which is like a fairly large amount of extra thickness. I didn't go in on before I started this. There was still yellow storm goes down. Six link portal gaming? Hey, we're trying. And that's how it's done. I am more than happy to give Darky some coaching lessons if he needs them.